Alright guys, before we jump into the content today, be sure to head over to unitedbytrucks.com, check out the tab UBT shirts and hoodies or UBT hats and stickers. We don't quite have the hats up yet, but we got some stickers there, and then we've got some hoodies, sweatshirts, and t-shirts, unitedbytrucks.com. I'll put a link down in the description so you can find it easy. Just click on that, and thanks for your support. That's what happens when you don't turn the mic on. Welcome to Whitlock Garage. Today, we're gonna show you a 73 square body, step side, short bed patina truck. Alright guys, welcome back to Whitlock Garage. Today, we're showing you the second installment of What's in My Driveway. That's a new segment where we show you trucks and cars, not just trucks, trucks and cars from, you know, the folks who come over and hang out with me or buy parts or generally just wanna drive a vehicle over and, you know, have a cold beer. So anyway, this is the second installment of What's in My Driveway and I'm gonna show you today Rocky's 73 Step Sign Short Ped Square Body. So check this out. So this is a really, really cool 73 square body, as I just mentioned. Rocky, tell us a little bit about this truck. Yeah, man. Um, this truck actually uh, spent about 15 years in ball ground, Georgia, sitting under a carport prior to uh, my dad rescuing it. Um, at that time, acquired it, had it for about another 15 years until the inline six in it went out. At that time, <clears throat> sat for another five years. I tried to go and find another period correct in line six. Threw that in there, threw a drop on it. It was given to me, and here it is. Man, that's awesome. What uh, so what have you done with it since you've got it running? Um, pretty much all I've done to it is dropped it. How much have you dropped it? Uh, it's got a seven in the back, and I want to say a four and a half in the front. Yeah, cool, man. Looks really great. Man, I appreciate that, man. This thing's actually been a, a real labor of love. <laughs> you know, I, I really have to give a shout out to my wife, you know, for putting up with me and for letting me. Yeah. For we should probably go. all do that <laughs> as I step in holes and fall down here. <laughs> for, for putting up with me late nights, you know, trying to rebuild this thing. That's cool. You've actually had a, a few more trials and tribulations other than just trying to, trying to get the truck running. So tell us a little bit about um, you know the recent i guess i'll just call it the recent accident you had so with the recent accident i had i had this thing looking good had the drop on it had just done the drop that day yeah sitting in my driveway called up marietta alignment was like hey man i'm gonna bring this thing in get it aligned they're like cool drove it around the neighborhood a couple times everything was cool it was checking out roadworthy enough for me at least to get to marietta alignment you know a couple miles down the road <clears throat> so i'm driving it not in going down one of the major roads here in Marietta, and all of a sudden the brakes go out. Man. So, brakes went out, it was either crash crash into the back of some cars, crash into a house, or take it into the trees. So what all did it damage? Well, I'll show you up here. All right. So basically- Man, that's the, heartbreaking, dude. Man, it was, it, it literally, I, I, had to, I had to stop and say a prayer, because I was literally shattered. Oh, I bet. <laughs> Um, basically what it did was hit the tree on this side right here, crushed the whole front end basically back to here. Jeez. I had to get new uh, original sheet metal. This is a, this came off of the donor truck. This I think this fender came from a 78. Yeah. This Which came would have been the exact same fender. Yeah, it came off this came off a 78. And then I ended up, you know, of course from you and John, you know, giving me the grill. That was yeah. awesome. And then it looks great, man. Man, I appreciate it, Look man. Look at that thing. And then, you just uh, can't beat a 73 74 grill. You cannot. Not and this one even that. has the 454 emblem in it. That's right. That's right. Rare. That ain't no 454. Item. That's it. No. <laughs> no. Show us what's under the hood in this sure. thing. Absolutely. Just got an old school N line 6 250. Yeah. Look at that. And I think an important note is that my truck which is also just like this one, 
was the D, it's either D46 or D48 yellow state truck, almost looks like a school bus, the exact same color and it was painted over white, just like this one. So this one still actually has the yellow firewall. And a little note about that is, is this truck, the guy that um, originally had this truck, he bought it from the state of Georgia. The state of Georgia bought this truck and right when they do the new models, I think it was like 72, maybe November 72, yeah. somewhere around there. Yeah. And they bought it, they didn't want it, it sat, It's been, it was a one owner truck. Wow, that's cool. Yeah, mine lived a much harder life than this one, I believe. It was painted black over the yellow and then white with a paintbrush. <laughs> so this one is at least a lot more decent than that. Man, this is just a really cool truck. I uh, appreciate, it, man. appreciate you bringing it by today, man. And Absolutely. Glad that uh, I, I must put in a, a, a little note here and say that the persistence of Rocky to get this truck back going was was really cool. I mean, he like you like you heard, he wrecked it, and then it was. I mean, it was literally what a month, two yeah, months at yeah, the it was most. About a month. I spent most of the time. You know, the the hardest part wasn't putting it back together the hardest part was sourcing all of the parts yeah absolutely because you know you don't really want to get reproductions because reproductions are kind of crappy yep so that was pretty much the hardest part yeah, you're definitely going to do a lot better if you can stick with oem <laughs> when it comes to body panels for facebook sure. marketplace and and ebay are your best friends <laughs> absolutely well thanks for bringing it by man this has been this is really cool i'm actually glad to see it in person like i said it's just a lot better truck than mine was man this thing is just cool so all right thanks Hope you enjoyed that little walk around of Rocky 73 square body. As you can see, that's what the new segment of What's in My Driveway looks like. We're going to be bringing you more trucks and some cars, maybe not even all American, but we're going to be showing you some really cool stuff that ends up in my driveway here at Whitlock Garage. Thank you for tuning in. If you haven't subscribed yet, please hit the subscribe button on the channel. If you're on the PC, you can do that by running your mouse over the United by Trucks icon down there at the bottom right hand part of the screen. You can also uh, give us a thumbs up if you like the video by hitting the thumbs up button down at the bottom of the screen and leave us a comment. Let us know what you think about Rocky's truck. We think it's a really cool truck. And like I said, I used to have one similar to it, so I really like it. Thanks for tuning in to Whitlock Garage. We'll catch you next time. Cue the music.